I will thump. Uh, when I win Vegas, uh, will you cry, says Jib. <clears throat> I don't know, Jib. So if you win Vegas with tier elements, no. Um, I just, I have so much disdain for that deck, Jib. I'm, I'm like, I don't feel anything but hate. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm sorry, Chad. I, I feel almost, Jib, Jibro, actually, hold on. You're a good person to ask. You're... I don't want to say a zoomer, but I think you've been playing the game a, 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 a lot, like somewhat long enough. Jibril, would you consider a Shizu tier element one of the most hated decks in Yu-Gi-Oh history? We are we are getting we are getting a a, a a highly competitive player's opinion on this chat. No, okay, g give me give me one that you would consider. By the way, like what would what would you consider one, or what what, what would you consider like a, a very like one of the most hated decks ever? Cause I feel like if you say spiral, I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna roll my eye. Like what? Tier element is like infinitely. Goki Gumblar. Okay, give me something else. I, I feel like everyone says that that was the worst deck ever, and I, I just, I just don't get it. I, I, I really just don't. Like, didn't Sky Striker make it to the finals of that event? You know what I mean? True Draco's. How? How? How is True Draco Zoo worse than this? How is True Draco Zoo worse than this? Like I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not like what? That deck was AIDS. How is it worse than this? Like that, there's no like okay, True Draco Zoo. There's no floodgates. There's no playing on your opponent's turn or like tier zero or turn zero. Excuse me. There's no playing on your opponent's like turn zero. There's no getting uh. FTK'd because they like um uh there's a word I'm looking for not affected but manipulated manipulated your deck for no reason do do people chat do people understand that like hyper and I understand that this is a very small percentage do you understand that if you were to mill a flunder player's deck turn one and you just milled like double impin isn't isn't it like literally impossible for them to win if you if you just mill double impin like it's it, no one even mentions that that there are certain decks where if you just mill a perfect combination, maybe not even a perfect combination, you just win the game. <laughs> like you don't you don't have a win condition anymore. <laughs> like I just I milled your win condition and you can't recover it. <laughs> nah. So skillful. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm so by the way, I'm so glad. I'm so glad Selza Selza showed up. Chat. Because another thing I'm going to tackle in this video is this whole argument of it's so skillful, bro. My deck that completely relies on the RNG to work is so. Oh, 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 oh. Come on. I, I feel like, I, I feel like, by the way, I feel like no one in the chat is giving me credit. Like, no one in the chat believes that I can make a good video, which is inspiring me, by the way. Because I, I feel like every time that happens, I blow, like, expect I blow out expectations. Because you guys didn't think that that G Hopper video was going to be appropriate. And boom, we blew that one out. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. I can find the exact clip that, like, what's it called? Combo players hate flu underies, um, so they don't care. Uh, punish for playing two. I mean, what are you supposed to do? just, all right, play three impins then? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> play, okay, what if they mill three impins? Like, I, I just, I don't, I don't like this whole element of, like, if you're not playing tier, right? If it's not a tier mirror match and your opponent mills a certain guy, you could just lose the game because of that. Uh, Flunder might be the most extreme example, but like Flunder can't do anything without the tributes and they can't get the tributes back in the deck. There's no mechanism for that. Thus, if the, if the tributes get milled, which they shouldn't get milled because like these piece of shit cards shouldn't exist, you just lose the game because Yu-Gi-Oh! Like that's ridiculous. Hey Nash, how are you? I like your videos. Thank you so much, my friend. I could see this format sucking if you're not good at tier. Okay, so hold on. Are you basically, so are you basically saying if you don't play tier, this format's terrible? Is that is that what you're saying? Because if that's what you're saying, then I'm gonna consider myself right. If, if that's what you're, if you're basically saying if you don't play tier, this format's like unplayable. Yeah, I could. Okay, cool. Then I'm right. That's that's all you needed to say. I'm right. <laughs> Thank you. Because that that's that's like the argument that GG uses. Well, just play tier. Cool. So like your whole argument is you have to play the be good at this one deck. But if this if I don't want to play this one deck, then the game's literally unplayable. Cool. Thanks. You just made my point. 
that's what tier zero meta is. Yeah, but I this one's worse. That's what I've been. This one's worse. I've played other tier zero metas, chat. I played Teladad. I remember. I remember Teladad distinctly, chat. This is way worse. This is way worse than Teladad. It, it just is. And Teladad had stuff like Crush Card and Heavy Storm, where like, bro, if they Crush Cards you, it's wraps. You know, it's, it's just wraps. Nope, this one's worse. Because at least I didn't get my fucking deck milled during my opponent's turn. At least I didn't normal summon Stratos, activate effect. Oh, Havness. Okay, get FTK. Cool. <laughs> get get FTK'd by Havness. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me see if I can find the exact moment. Or, like, if they just milled Murley in a shuffler, it doesn't Of course even... it's going to be worse. Oh, you're just saying because of power... No, I, I don't think so. I don't think every tier zero format moving forward is going to be worse than the last. I, I, I think this one just has different dynamics that make it worse. As I said, I, I don't know whose idea, chat. Agree or disagree? Every time Konami tries to completely break a mechanic, I'm talking extra deck mechanics, it almost always ends up in a, com a complete catastrophe. And the other example that I use, that I'll use, should be, should be fairly obvious. Like, this, if anyone can give me the example that I'm thinking of. When you, when you have a mechanic that's been established, you can make deviations to it. But when you completely try to circumvent how the mechanic works, the result is you. Yeah, the, the example is Zodiac. <laughs> like, it, what is an XC summon? An XC summon is two monsters of the same level being overlaid on two. Okay, but instead of two monsters, let's just do one. Cool. You break the entire game. You you make you make at the time the most powerful archetype the game has ever seen, and it takes over because you tried the you tried to circumvent how the XC mechanic works. What if we do the same thing to fusion? What if you don't need to use spells? They don't even have to be in your hand or on the field. You can just fuse from the graveyard with an RNG mechanic. Oh, cool. You do the same thing. You just break the entire game. You know what I mean? Uh, with Sword Soul broken, <sighs> Sword Soul synchroed in a different way. But it, I don't like, Sword Soul wasn't like a, not like a, I mean, it wasn't exactly a one card synchro. I mean, some, somewhat is, but I, I would say no. Pendulums, like my hold on. I, there's just a moment, chat. But like it just had to specifically be another name. Plus, this is it. This is it. Hold on. This is it. This is it. This is I. I favored it. I'm gonna turn this up, chat. I favorited this. Ex I favorited this whole video just so I could come back to this moment for 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 when everyone tells me that tier element is the most skillful deck ever just because it has so many combo lines and you can do so much. Okay, I, I guess. Just just wait. You just put it to the top of the deck. I don't know if any of you guys watch this. Like, okay, actually, hold on, hold on. Let's watch this entire. I'm not gonna put all this in the video. Just, just watch. Uh, it's a skillful mirror. Okay, I, I, I guess. I don't, I don't feel like that's the overall thing that people say. I think people say that tier element, Ashizu tier, is a skillful deck. Like, okay, I, I guess. It's like even a top deck like Rana doesn't do anything. They have magma, but a plant. Wait, 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 wait. Nah. Let's assess the game state. Hold on. We, we need to assess the game state. So this is um, like dragon versus tier element. And, uh, go ahead. His opponent used talent. He beat over both monsters, chat. Who should win this duel? Um, it's hard to play well. Who should win this duel, chat? The opponent. So this guy, the tier player, has no shufflers. He has a 3,000 beater on field and magnum in hand, which means he has any tier top deck, which the only one is Ry Rhino, right? Like Rhino is the only guaranteed fusion. But he has that covered with Magnumut. Depends on what he draws. Okay, then, then like, what is his outs to like win? Because I feel like they're all, they're they're very very small. A crazy Merlin. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much, Todd McGee, coming through with the Twitch resubscription. Sixteen months in a row of grown ass manliness. That's a year. And a third of a year uh, of the next year of grown-ass uh, toddliness. Thank you very much. Um, he needs instant fusion. Um, <laughs> so basically, okay, it's, you guys are naming like one specific. He has to draw instant fusion or lose. You know what I mean? Like, all right, cool. If you draw instant fusion, that's a power one. Like, I'll take that L, chat. If you're gonna, if you're gonna harder the cards into instant fusion, I can live with that. And then some of you guys are saying Merly, but like Merly doesn't work because he, he'd have to mill like two names, chat. So does Merly even work? Because if you mill Sharon, I just banish it with Magnum, but then then you lose. I just beat over you. I search another beast deals this game. You know what I mean? Diviner of Herald. Oh, you're saying into a. I mean, do people play that? 
Yeah, the diviner into a miller. Okay, okay. Let's just just watch. Crash. He needs a name plus a mill. Cool. So this is. It, it, by the way, if he gets a name plus a mill five, press. Give me a Kiba in the chat if he outskilled his opponent. Chat. That's that's the that's the pinnacle of skill. You got a specific. You got a specific like card. You got you got one monster that you needed. Like it literally. You guys have only told me it has to be Merley, right? Because if he gets Sharon or Havness, he loses. So it has to be the specific tier into a specific, like a Shizu card, into more tiers. So you need three things to happen. That's all skill, right? That's all skill. Because it's all of those things are in your control. Or are they not in your control? Because I like I, I believe that skill are things that you can control. Like when it when it's when it's something you can't control, that's luck. It's RNG. You had no control over it. <laughs> I'm gonna use this exact clip. Attack. Okay, let's just let's see what happens. Turn, draws mm. planet. That's a Merly. That is so tough. Yeah, so tough. That is actually so tough because, like, even a top deck like Rana doesn't do anything. They have Magma, but a planet I'm gonna get specifically. Roasted the I, people told me Dragoon was broke. I don't give a fuck about the comments. Okay, well, at least they don't have a Shuffler in Grave. So activate planet. That's going to go search Merly. It's the only card uh -huh. that gives you a chance. And then summon Merly, effect to go mill three. Oh my gosh, you mill have like you had to mill a name plus a shuffler specific. Press one if get outplayed, chat. Get outplayed! Get outplayed! You deserved it! All skill! All skill! He mills he mills a name and he mills a mill. Get outplayed! All skill, baby! All skill by John Jones. This is what every this is what every tier player all skill all skill cap I deserve to win that YCS all skill not RNG at all bro all skill I build my name which you have to be steel but it doesn't matter because I also mill five and all skill yep cool all skill this argument is so I mean I, I just I when when I say that tier element has a level of RNG what is the counter argument like what what is the counter there there is no counter argument like. That's just, that's a fact. That's not even me using hyperbole. There is a level to RNG in the deck. It's like Adamancipator or Lightsworn. It's just baked into the, the deck. Uh, that's not a Miller. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a Shuffleback. Oh, uh, well, hold on, hold on. Can he still? I, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter, right? So if he activates Havness and he Bestials, he could just shuffle it back and then pop this and then trigger this, right? So my bad, my bad. It's not a Miller, but doesn't it still just Fusion? Because you could just... Because I think Kit Kalos is in his extra deck. So I activate Havness. You try to bestial. I shuffle it back into my deck. Uh, trigger the field spell. Pop this. And then I just use uh, whatever names in my graveyard to like make Kit Kalos and then just combo. So uh, a noob wouldn't know the right interaction. Cord? No, Jib. I'm not getting on Discord to get into an art. Jib, get on. No. Uh. Press one if don't get on a Discord call with Jib. No, I don't. I don't want to get on a, a Discord call with Jibril. That is five minutes, bro. I am rolling my eyes here. All he's all he's going to say is Cap. The odds of him getting good meals were high, though. That's that's the whole art. Like that's the whole counter argument. Wait, wait, wait. wait. By the way, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I, I'm I'm not done with this this clip. Wait, wait. Just keep watching. Typically two. And I could be wrong. But Grinder says it specifically had to be these cards. So if, if he's wrong, then like, I, I just feel like this further, like it had to be these specific cards. Like, mm. oh, that's scared. so tough. Scared to the I'll debate. I don't have this effect. And then do it. Okay, give, just give me a second. They're gonna chain magma. Wait, you never shuffled? Question mark. You never shuffled when you put back planet with Kaleido. You just put it to the top of the deck and never shuffled. That's crazy. Judge Kip called a judge. <clears throat> Thought I did. Okay. All right, chat. So that doesn't. That doesn't. They're they're resetting the game state. Which, by the way, I I could just use this and prove my point. But what do you guys think is gonna happen now, chat? Maybe he gets unlucky and he doesn't mill the right cards. Let's just see. Okay, well that changes the draw. Merly goes to bottom. Still, <laughs> because he cheated. Merly on bottom. All right, let's put the Merly on the bottom of the deck. Activate our planet. There's no way. Just build better. <laughs> cool. Again, something Return you can't control. Return planet to the top of the deck. Mm -hmm. View deck. Put Merly to yeah, the bottom. Yeah, he still has the build. Still drew planet. Are you kidding? Oh, me? actually, no, he didn't. Okay, so he still draws right, the field. Fair spell. enough. The game wanted that planet in hand. 
Summon effect, but now hopefully they don't know a name plus a shuffler. Oh my gosh, there's no way it happened twice. <laughs> And it, like it, it could have been Mer. Like if they just milled Merly in a shuffler, it doesn't even work. But like it just had this. <laughs> so skillful, chat. So skill, all first of all, all skill, chat. All skill, baby. Oh, this is this is why I, I instantly favorited this video, and I was like, this is hilarious. All skill. This is what the tier element players will tell you. Is I don't know what the odds of that is, chat. I know that there's 100%, like, there's there's a way, if I was smarter, I could find the math on that happening, because we know the amount of cards, uh, they, they don't change, if someone was smarter than me, you could find the exact odds of this happening, but I guarantee you the tier players, like, it doesn't matter if it's 1% or 2%, it's all skill, it's all skill, man, it's all skill, like, cool, fine, I'll get on, I'll, I'll argue with this, but for just one second, yeah, I could, bro, um, oh my, OMG, uh, hold on for a second. Yeah, but my my thing would be like, you know, I'll just I'll just ask you. I'll, I'll get into the call and then I'll ask them. No, not that. Uh, okay, hold on. Two, 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 two. Uh, oh, he already called me. Yeah. Jabril. Jip. What's up? Okay, hold on. Let me bring my what's it call back. Okay, Jib. Jib, was okay. that was that play all skill? It okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> this is why this deck is probably like the best deck ever. It is every I don't card in his that. deck, every card in his deck for the most part, it didn't matter what he hit, all his cards are live. Like Herod that's Herod why the deck is so good. It's different than other RNG decks in the past where like a major like there are specific cards you can hit that combo and then the rest are like blanks every monster in his deck for the most part does something hold, hold on. he had to be unlucky the orange he had to be unlucky in order for him to lose this game milling three cards if you go back in the replay and look when db grinder looks at his grave at pretty much every tier monster is in his deck yeah but jeb he could have he could have milled uh planets and hold on hold on if he if he just mills one tier name he still loses. Like, he instantly Even loses. you're not accounting for the rest of the monsters in his deck. All his monsters do stuff. He could have milled two tier names. He could have milled a shuffler and, th and two blanks. He could have milled a shuffler and a name like he did. He could have milled two names. He could have milled well, a shuffler and... He could have milled wait, a wait, name wait, and a mill five. I, like, how would a shuffler and two... How, how would a shuffler and two blanks win? No, not a shuffler and... Oh, no, not a... Sh yeah, shuffler and two blanks wins. Because, like, if he mills a shuffler and two blanks, he goes, um, shuffler, shuffle back... To, to, uh, two or three of his names pops his own Merly. He has no monsters on the field. You can't Magnum oh, up, and then okay, Merly yeah, fuses. My, you win the game immediately. Fair, fair enough. Fair enough. I, I didn't. I didn't think about that because yeah, you can't Magnum up because uh, um, you know it's not every a card that in that his one. deck wins him the any monster in his deck wins him the game. Okay, pretty I, much unless it's like three Bistols, which is like unlucky. I, Anything else wins in the game. So like people no. get mad and be like, oh, Tear is so RNG when you're not keep putting into account that every monster in your deck is good. It's we, better than any RNG deck. It, it's, it's literally better. It's better than Adam Emancipator. Adam Emancipator, you excavate one, put the rest into your deck. Imagine if Adam Emancipator did the same thing. You summon one and then mill the other ones to the graveyard and every one that you mill has an effect. Like, that's crazy. Hold like, on. this deck is broken, bro. I, 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 I'm not disputing that. I no, uh, there's, there's no disputing the power of tier element. Yeah, I, I believe... Way to make the deck worse is actually to make it RNG because the deck is not RNG. That was the issue that people had with the deck at first. Where are when you it see? first came out next to Sprite, people were like, oh, this deck is not going to be good because it's too RNG. No, it's not RNG. All the monsters are at three and then you can add other cards into your deck in order to make every mill good. Jib, jib. So the deck is at full power. Okay, okay. Hold on. Big Pimpin just, Big Pimpin just made a retort. So if you always just win, how is it skilled? The mirror is skilled. It can seem unskillful when you're playing against okay. other decks because other decks don't have a way to interact with the milling. The issue, the, the the reason why the deck is so skillful is because the mirror, when you're both milling, you're both 
continuously triggering effects. So it becomes really skillful. You have to know like when to mill, when not to mill, when you're when it's advantageous to mill. Sometimes you have the option to mill, but you don't mill because your hand is good enough that you don't have to mill. Sometimes your hand is still good, but you still mill your opponent to force them to use the effects to make other cards live. Like it's really interactive and skillful. What if they make a best dweller? Is it still skillful? Um, if they make a biz dweller, you're going second. Mm-hmm. Cause, cause, like I saw, there was a small, a very small period where I saw people playing like Forbidden Droplet. I don't, I don't see that anymore. Um, I don't really see. Uh, That's why people don't imper- like a biz dweller, and I don't like that argument because people say a biz dweller makes the mirror non skillful, and what they're saying by that is that mm-hmm. it takes away that interaction. So the deck tier element is interactive and skillful, but Abyss Dweller takes away the interaction and makes it so that the tier player who is they they have the but, Abyss Dweller is in complete control of the game state at all times. Yeah, but Joe, yeah, isn't wouldn't that be literally the like the goal of the person going first is like make yes. Dweller? So that's why people want Abyss so Dweller how, so, then, so then how's the mirror like how's it skillful? Because you barely summon Abyss Dweller. How many yeah, times? If you look at all these, no, 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 no. To end your turn, yes. Uh-huh. But how many times when you're comboing do you see the person make Abyss Dweller and then continue to combo? It's you can look at a four. bunch of replays. You never see that. It's just two level fours. You never do that. That's, that plays in Abyssals. A lot of times you can't do that because that plays in Abyssals. It makes your board weaker to Nibiru. It does so much. It plays in a Kelbeck people because playing, you're going to make Abyss Dweller and then keep the, milling. In, people playing Niv in the main? In current, yes. Post Fultz on Hypernova, I don't think so. But oh, current, God. yes. You're, you're, Whoa, people are playing Imprint, people are playing Nib, people are playing Bistols. Jib, are you speaking out of... Okay, I, th- I thought I'm that... I'm speaking from experience. I thought that Nib was supposed to be better post uh, Hypernova because it's good against that's Cashier. I'm telling you guys so you guys can go to these tournaments and be free. Like, that's not true. Nibiru is good against Castira. It's still not good against Tier Elements. Okay. okay. Chat, did... Hold on. Well, if you're saying the most common rank four card made in a level four deck shouldn't be accounted for, I, I, I just, hey, bro, you that's, make a at I the that's, end of your turn. You're not making a biz dweller while you're comboing. That's not true. But, that's cap. But, but if are, you, that's actually a misplay. You're not supposed to do that. Are you saying that you like but, Jesse Kahn literally said you have to be able to? And I'm not using him like because he said it's true but he says that like he's comfortable milling five in the mirror at any point because he just feels he's going to outskill his opponent he says nothing about making he's a best dweller milling five he's, the, he just he's the best him. player in Yu-Gi-Oh. is, is okay, that so that's what i said if you're good at tier element this format's kind of fun you're going back and forth with your opponent you're having a good time if you're playing an other deck and your opponent is milling 10 every turn you have no trigger effects they're triggering five effects a turn of course, this is going to feel like shit. And then if you're bad at tier and you don't know what you're doing and you're like misplaying and triggering stuff at wrong spots, tricking, you mill three names, you trigger all three names at once, like stupid shit like that. Of course, you're going to have a bad time. I feel like, like I that. Don't, I don't get it. I feel like that's a that's an extremely unrealistic barometer to use. No, I'm saying I think the format could, could be unenjoyable for people, but I'm just saying don't make it seem like it's unskillful because it's not. That's not true. I think it's I think it's unskillful. When you have a, an element of... Ch- so you're, you're just saying that tier, there is yes. no RNG the way that the deck is now. None. No, not really. Every de- every card is at three. Every card is good. You would I, have to be unlucky in order to draw a bad hand in that deck. No, 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 no. no. I, I, don't, I don't mean that. Test hands, every hand is going to be good. No, 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 no. I, I, yeah, I, I agree that the deck can, like, play always i'm just talking about the milling aspect you're saying that yeah the milling aspect is not really rng because every card is at three yeah but but every card in the deck is not always like don't get me wrong they, they usually mill something but not every card is good to mill. like the shufflers the don't shufflers do aren't good to mill they don't they don't advance your plays if you don't have the filter they, um i mean yeah that's true but they're good to mill that's the, the, don't say that they're not good to mill. No, no, no. They're, they're, they're interruption course. It's, cards, it's, and they're good in multiple matchups. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not good, just good in the mirror. They're good to mill, but it's not like if if, like you, if just... you have a shuffler in the grave against mm-hmm. Despia, like Despia can't really play. Like okay, so but... a Despia player could be like, oh, these fucking shufflers. Uh, excuse my language. They could be like, oh, this, <laughs> these shufflers are stopping me from playing. Like, but you, they're still good cards to have. Like they create interaction. Um, there's skill, but come on, you're not doing rocket science. The tier mirror. 
Uh, it's not rocket science. It's rocket right. science when you're both milling cars. I'm just not I, really rocket science. I don't like using the word rocket science. That's like a I'm that's read, cringe. Hold on, like I'm it's, re- it's tough. I'm reading the chat. The tier mirror. The tier mirror is skillful. Um, versus any other deck, it's it isn't skillful. But I also think there's a caveat that we ju- that we just established. The skill mirror is skillful if a best dweller isn't involved because it's like. You have this card that the deck can make incredibly easy that removes all skill. Okay, okay. this is the argument that I don't like about people wanting Abyss Dweller banned, especially for a person like you that doesn't play tier. If Abyss Dweller is not in the game, a lot of decks that make Abyss Dweller instantly get removed from any sort of competitive or rogue viability at any level. So that's actually bad for rogue players if a Abyss Dweller gets banned. I don't, I don't think I understand what you're saying, Jib. You're, but hold tier, on. People, people that are playing tier want Abyss Dweller to be banned because it's a floodgate against their tier deck. It's a floodgate that rogue decks can use in order to have a chance going first. Those like decks a deck even... like Draco Slayers ends on Abyss Dweller because it helps them in order to compete with like a deck like tier. I, w- I was honestly yeah. I was honestly going to say name like one relevant deck <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, like, that like beats yeah, tier like, because even, like, they... And Nachuria plays it too. Uh... Nachuria plays Abyss Dweller too. <laughs> I like, don't... Isn't that... You're removing cards <laughs> that give rogue decks a chance against tier element. Because you care more about having interaction in the tier mirror match when not everyone wants to play tier. Well, t- so you're like, rem- tier I, don't, isn't, I don't like that. Well, idea. hold on, hold on. But t- tier isn't for tier isn't forever. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so once tier is gone, then we just don't have a dweller in the game. I think a dweller is fine. Will like, it become? I I don't want to get too sidetracked. But when I look at a dweller, would it be a card that becomes problematic in the future? Because people it's have problematic against good decks. It's never problematic against like bad decks like no one cares about abyss dweller when it's not being used to stop a degenerate deck that no, revolves look, around look at look at it in like toss format i mean if you use it against like salaman race it's crazy if you use it against orcus like the game Ballad was the main deck playing it and orcus was broken that's not like, the that's orcus not the, is insane that's not the point jib the point the point is like if you you if you if you were able to make it against those decks you shut off like half their plays I mean, but what was Salomon Great doing against Orcus and Thunder if you weren't making Dweller? If, you, I, if Salad didn't have Dweller, I don't think Salad would be near as competitively viable against Thunder and Orcus. Has Konami ever cared about mirror matches? Uh, no, no, no. And, and, and no. The, the, whole, the whole spirit That's of... That's why they wouldn't ban Dweller. The, the whole only sp- reason why people want Dweller banned is because of the mirror. The whole spirit of mirror matches... Kind of goes against what Yu-Gi-Oh stands for. To be to be completely honest, if if people if people don't realize that the whole the whole entire like concept of mirror matches goes against with Yu-Gi-Oh stand. Like Yu-Gi-Oh was not a game where you're supposed to have to play one deck or you're supposed to go into an event and see the same deck like every other round. Like that's, that's not you didn't see that in the anime. You didn't see that in any of the marketing for uh, the game. Uh, floating floodgates will always be wow. Jib, did you bring other people? I see so many new names that I have not seen in here. Okay, hold on. You have to remember what three fusions, two shufflers, two millers, like three uh, tier spell slash traps. Add that up. That's ten cards. So are you are well plus the issue? Are you arguing Mika shot that those are the good cards? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, I can pull up my tier deck right now, and I can name every good card to draw slash have. Could you do that? Name no, yeah. no, 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 no. Just name me, name me every good card to mill. Because I every I good would... card to mill. So we yeah. have three, six, nine, ten, eleven mm-hmm. names current, not counting the cash tier, which is next format. Mm-hmm. That's standard two yeah. Rhino Heart, three Sharon, three Hovness, three Merly. So that's eleven. Uh-huh. Then you have two, two Scream, two Stalic. Scream what? So, search is a... Uh, Scream or... search is Solix. Solix search is a monster. Search is traps. Okay, okay. Yeah, so how much is that? That's four more. So that's 15. Mm-hmm. Then if you want to count the Ishizu package... Yeah. I don't know how much you consider standard for the Ishizu, uh, Ishizu, uh, Ishizu package. But we have three Nine, Medora, maybe? three Keldo. No, because you have to play Guido and Keldo. 11? Keldo. 11 cards? Yeah. So that's 15. So that's 26. Uh-huh. 26 out of 40? So that's more is, than half. Is, hold on, hold on. Is is that is that it? That doesn't yes. sound guaranteed to me, Jib. 
I mean, if you're milling 15 cards a turn. Well, hold on. Hold on. I just, uh, what'd you, what was the number? 26? Yeah, about 26 out of 40 cards. That's not included. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me hold you. That's, that's good cards to mill. If you want to talk about cards that get to those cards, you have to add another five. Because three planets, one instant fusion, one terraforming. Yeah, but those could also be in the deck. Yeah, but you can also draw them, so you have to account for those. You open... Those, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I I, I don't... So yeah, yeah, I, I was going to say, the math should be 35, but then, like, if you if you use 35 instead of 40, then, like, some of those cards could be in your hand. So that, yeah, that's, that's what I'm I, saying. And I don't want a lot of those cards in your hand mill like multitudes of higher numbers, like, for, got... averaging from three to five. So okay, the number I got if we use twenty six out of forty is sixty five percent. Let's just let's just say two thirds, two thirds. That's not yes. guaranteed, Jib. That is high, but that's not that's gu- high. But but the number is actually higher because you're not accounting for cards in your hand, and you're not accounting for the multiples of how many of these cards are milling. These cards are not milling one at a time. They're milling on an average from three to five. And you start your turn off with 35 cards in your deck. Are you putting that into consideration? You have five cards in your hand. When you mill 10 to five or 10 to 15, um, game one, time to scare away the new viewers. I'm sorry, new viewers in the chat. We're doing a we're doing an argue. We were we were arguing over the skill level of a Shizu tier element. I, I'm not saying that it's an that it's a completely unskillful deck. All I'm saying is I don't believe it's as skillful as people say because there is an element of RNG in the deck. If there was no if every card was like uh Rhino Heart, I wouldn't I would have no argument. Because Rhino Heart is just like, oh, dump a tear, fusion. But the other card deck is like Rhino Heart. What's that? Two thirds of like Two thirds of your deck are Rhino Heart, and every card in your deck is good to draw. Which I can know. say it's... that is not true for most other decks in the format, yeah, or in general in Yu Gi Oh. One every card in your deck is good to draw. One card is like Rhino Heart. The rest of them RNG. Shayrin, Havnis, okay. not... they they all they are RNG. You don't you don't get to specifically pick a card. I, actually, does the new the new one like that one just mills or or it what? mills more. So the deck is going yeah, to be even more consistent. The, yeah, but you still don't get the pick. You it doesn't matter. The don't deck, mi- like, okay, okay. First of all, let's 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 take this out. You have a, a if you're able to play at any given turn, for the most part, I would say you have a ninety percent chance of always getting to Merley. That's first of all. So the way that the deck is even played is that you try to resolve Sharon and Halvinus because you always have access to Merley. Fusion. So it's technically, you only have to really RNG into, like, those two names. One of them, you kind of get guaranteed because you either get it off of Rhino Heart or uh, some ways. There's different ways to get to it. But really, you're trying to... The way that the deck plays is you're trying to get to Sharon and you're trying to get to Hovness. Those are the two X factor. Those are the RNG because you don't have 100% access to those at all times. And, and because say- of the extra deck, you always have access to Merle. You're saying you're because of Sprite Sprint, right? Yeah, because of Sprint and Dark. You are always you always have access to Merle. Well, uh, if you say... Uh, so it's even less RNG because it's even less that of sounds a struggle RNG in order because, to get to, well, hold on, hold on, to, wait, get wait. to three names. But if you're if you're saying they can't, they, they have to make Dark to make... Um, are, are you saying make Dark and then use Dark's effect because that... No, I'm saying make Dark or, and make use Dark's effect if you open Merle... Then that equals Merle fusion effect in the graveyard because you can just hard make spring because you have a level two. So you pretty much always have access to Merle. Sometimes you you just make dark to put a, a, a two monster on the board and then just link it away into sprint. Like okay, you pretty okay, much okay. always have okay. access you're, you're to Merle if you're You're playing. saying you don't always need uh Dark's effect. Yeah. Okay. Like Merle is pretty much always guaranteed. Like if your hand is like playable, which most of the time it is, it's like okay. Merle's the last fusion effect I'm using unless they're like bishilling me and this forces me to go out of the order. I, I always I, have Merle. Merle's the last thing I'm using. I have I, to get to I Sharon like, and Jib, I I feel I feel like you undercut your argument. By by no. saying by saying that you all that that saying that that two thirds of the names are not guaranteed mm-hmm. and that you're kind of just hoping to then, get there. No, you get there. But I'm saying that one is a hundred percent guaranteed. No, no, no. I, Merle I, is pretty I can, much hundred percent. I can, guaranteed. I can, I can accept that. 
But Merley is one fusion summon out of three. Yes. And if and you're, you're telling half your deck, and these cards are at three. And you have ways to put them in the grave also. So you're, b- It's but not it, like you're just randomly milling them. A I, lot of the times, Merly mm-hmm. is sent from Sprint. Yeah, One yeah I get that. I, I, I can see that. from Rhino Heart every turn. Uh-huh. I, so I that's can, two names. And then the third one, you have to RNG it. I understand. But if you're saying, Jib, you're, if, you're, if you're saying that it's not guaranteed that we get Sharon or Havness, that we're just relying on, look, we just need to mill a bunch of cards and... We'll probably get there, but we're not guaranteed to get there. And if we don't get there, then we have to rely on this other play to, I guess, try to get us there. I don't know if the play would be make a uh, kitten instead of searching, just dump another card and then get it that way. Like, that I mean, sounds RNG kit to me. Searching, no, because kit, kit searching gets you to Rhino Heart. If you're able to get to Kit, you pretty much got there because Kit gets Rhino and then you're Merle, saying use the effect to, to what's it called? Pop so, itself. You pop itself. Mm-hmm. You summon the Merle or the Rhino. You either mill eight more cards or you mill five more cards. And then depending on what you don't hit, Rhino sends the missing piece. And then Sprint is the last piece in order to send the third name. Okay. Well, it, I, I don't know. That's why the deck is so good. If the deck was as RNG as people make, people say RNG like that's a good thing in the deck. If a deck is RNG, that's bad. That's not a good thing. Like I, so I, I don't even understand the argument. Because like if you're saying that this deck is crazy RNG, that's like not to a deck's no 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 no. For a deck I don't know RNG. what cat is arguing. <laughs> no 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 no. I say it's RNG to reduce the impact of people saying that it's a skillful deck because anything that's not within your control is not skill. Like you didn't you didn't you didn't do it. Like luck did. Numbers. It, it's random it's probability did. Control. What what's that? It, it feels very control while you're playing it. Like. You, like, the deck is so consistent at what it does is you can look at your opening hand, and it's not like <laughs> it's not like Adam Emancipator. I like to compare it to Adam Emancipator because it has, like, that, that mill factor, like, reveal factor to it. But it's like, Adam Emancipator, you can kind of get to a certain point with your combos, uh-huh. and then you had to see what you hit, and, and then depending on what you hit, you try to make your board. I, this I, deck, you can look at your opening hand, and... You can say, okay, I'm going to end on this. And then mm-hmm. you ending on this requires you to mill certain things, but you're not thinking about that because, like, the deck just does what it does. So it's like, okay, I'm going to end on Elf, Kaleido Heart, Dweller, Sulik. I don't have a Sulik in my hand. I don't I don't have a Rhino Heart in my hand. So how am I getting to Kaleido Heart? How am I getting Sulik set? Jib, can you I sen- know I can get there. Can you send me your, your deck list, the one that you just used the calculations on? Um, send me that on Dueling Book. And you did top YCS uh, Minneapolis, correct? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. I'm, no, no, no. I'm just, I'm using that because if I use your deck in the in the video, I don't want people thinking, oh, Cap, this is like, I don't fucking play tier. I mean, you know I can I mean? send you my deck for current. I can't send you my Vegas. So no, 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 no. I, that's what I'm saying. I, 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 I like the, the video that I make, it, it's going to be, it's not going to be based post Photon because that like everything changes at that point. Yeah, the deck gets more consistent. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll just I'll just I I won't I'll I won't I won't take that into consideration because we haven't played enough of that for me to determine like the hate level for the deck at that point. And so yeah, just send, send me your what's it called? Here here's the thing. I'm just gonna add, I'm just gonna I'll, I'll end it on this. You said that Jesse Cotton, he basically said that I am fine milling any random deck, right, or even a tier mirror match because I know that I will outskill them, right? That was his sentiment, correct? I I don't don't quote me on that. That's what I remember is him saying something like that in his winning deck list from Sydney. Is that Sydney. where he oh, won just okay. now? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So 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 and I I think I so think he's I maxing out on all the mill fives. That and he was saying like he is didn't that standard care or about no? milling in the mirror. That's not standard, no. Is that is that completely contrary or no? Because my my question was going to be if that's Jesse Cotton's stance is I am completely comfortable milling five against a tier mirror match and I believe I'll just always beat you because I'm better. Then shouldn't that be the standard across the if if this is if this is truly the most skillful match ever as people yeah. say it is, then that should be everyone's stance, right? No, it's, that that's why why that. hold on hold on why not then why not. Shouldn't you just feel confident you'll outskill them? I, 
Most people, I, I, uh, I, 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 I know I, I, that's I, 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 I'm male five. I know a lot of people a, that don't no, no, fuck no, people I, I, five against people. Hold on. Yeah, I know. No, I understand that. I understand that. You can't just Alex. take that position because Jesse took that position because you're not Jesse. You can't be like, okay, because Jesse said for me to always mill five, I'm just going to always mill five. And then you end up just screwing yourself over. But the deck has that much flexibility. Like, you can choose whether or not you want to trigger effects, and you'll still be fine a lot of the time. Sometimes you have to, but other times it's optional, and maybe you can get a better end board if you are, choose well, no, to no, do no, 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 no. Chad, I'm not talking about the... I'm not talking about me playing tier element. I'm, I'm talking to Jim. No, you just said every tier element player should ha have that position. That's not true. Yeah, I think but that's in some Jim, player Jim, detriment. Jim. You can't have I'm, that position. I'm using... I'm, 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 I'm basically... I am anticipating that every person who plays the Shizu tier is like competent in the deck. Like I'm not counting That's myself because I don't I don't play the deck. You know what I mean? A lot of people just play it because it's the best deck. That's like in every format. There are gonna be players that are so, playing the best deck because it's the best deck and they have money to spend on it. So That's not true. You're saying you're I played saying against that terrible the, tier element players. But okay, so you're you're basically saying like what well, give me an half of them just aren't competent? More than half. I, I, I feel like this is really, really I not. think the deck is just better than most other decks, so you can be playing against some dude, and then half the time you're complaining because he's sacking you, and the other half you're like, yo, he's so insane because he ended on a standard tier element board, when your deck is just worse than his, so he's just going to beat you. Because no, he's no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm removing I'm removing tier playing against other decks. So you're telling me that if you... I, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand, like, again, I'm, I'm, I'm being it's told... It's really hard to, to let explain. Me, let me finish. Let me finish. You're, yeah. you're, you're saying that, like, oh, the mirror, the mirror is so insanely skillful, but now I'm also hearing, like, well, that is... So are you saying that that depends on your personal skill, mm -hmm. not the deck itself? Because I feel like that throws everything into flux. Like, no. does the better seen... player always win? I, I don't mean always, because the better player doesn't um... always, always win. But do, do they win more often than not? Uh, if both players... And this is like with all Yu-Gi-Oh decks... Or just the game in general. I would say if both players are playing optimally and draw pretty much evenly, not not necessarily, like the mills change it. But uh -huh. if you both have like a good hand, then I would say maybe it's still like 50-50. <laughs> hold on hold on hold the fucking phone hold hold on so the best player the better put no, yo yo chat most skillful mirror match ever but the better player only wins 50 percent of the time did you just defeat your entire argument jabril no it's like you have to like draw well obviously it's like any mirror match you have to draw but, well no no, no we're not but, well. but but I don't. I don't think. I don't think drawing because because you can't just say well I draw optimally. Because so say he draws a good hand and then I draw like yeah the yeah right. That, that would like be a point. Uh -huh. I think that no no. I don't think that's. I think that's. I think that's favored in the good player. That that I misspoke. I think if I draw mm -hmm. like defensive cards, like if my hand isn't five engine pieces, if I have like two bishops or like a bishop imperm, and I'm playing against like a bad tier element player, I think I win that. Jib, hold on, hold on, stop. You just you just Jib. Don't build yourself an ideal hand because. In a, in a scenario, whatever the variable is, you have to apply it to both players, right? Don't build yourself yeah. an ideal hand and then not build. No, I'm saying like if he draws like a good hand, not like oh a uh, normal summon Ryan Hard Bishop. Just pass, draw well. If he forehead. draws a good hand and I also draw a good hand, meaning I have defensive cards, yeah, or like a defensive cards and like havenness, I think I think you can outmaneuver a bad Terramon player, yeah. But but Jim, that's but, why I think that milling five is not like advantageous for all Terramon players because you can screw yourself over really easily I, if you're not as good as your yeah. Player. But I I also think you just kind of undercut by saying a bad to like I I would I would a damn near like I would hope that you should just beat every bad tier element player because they're bad. You know what I mean? But I mean if you play someone who's like competent, not not the not the fifty percent of bozos who like they don't really know what they're doing. You know, I mean, again, Jim. It goes I'm, into the deck being really hard. I think most people are not really that good at the deck. The deck's been out that's for three months. Be, I, I, the deck's not, been I out swear, for. I swear yeah. to God, that's not even me being like arrogant. Like, I, I yeah. think I'm okay. I don't think I'm the best element player. No, I think I'm. I'm I think I'm good at it's, the deck. Dude, but, like, it's not it's, rocket it's, science. The is like, like, no, the deck is hard. The deck. The yeah, deck okay. is hard. It's like so many things I could talk about about like the deck. Like, is it the hardest deck ever? Because Jim, it's been out since November. It's not. It's February. The hardest deck ever there there have been way harder decks but the, i don't think those decks have been like super competitive but i think like as a competitive like so best deck yeah. it's mm -hmm. very hard 
a lot to... of people are not good with the, I, I I understand that. But like I'm not I don't want to measure like just people who are like bad and not competent. You know, I would say but, the difference between an average tier element player and mm-hmm. like an excellent tier element player is different. That's, I think it's it's a it's a difference. You can tell like hard, it's a hard. difference. What is the point of this argument? A lot of mirrors, um, if both equally as good, it definitely comes down to 50-50 and a tier zero mirror. Uh, I, I disagree. That's I, not true. I disagree with that's that. Not true. So, that's so not true. That's not true. Dude, I, I, don't, I do not agree with that. That's I do not think not that true. like in Teledar If you're playing a Pepe, it's if, just you're, if, flip. if Billy Brake is playing against Jeff Jones in a Pepe mirror match, whoever wins the die roll is going to win. Like, is not equal. Pepe cannot break a Pepe board going second into a Pepe board. That's not true. You're um, never going to do that. Add Selza to the cold Selza <laughs> room. Three. No, no, no. I don't want to add more people. I'm, I, the, the point of this call was to determine what is the true skill level of Ishizu tier element. And is it overstated? Because I believe that it is. That's that's just that's the whole point of this chat. It's not to determine what should get hit. It's not. What to do you, determine- but, but my thing is, what do you consider? Like, what are you taking into account when it comes to a deck skill? Are People- you talking about like a deck that like, oh, this combo is really hard to do? Like a deck like DDD, like yo, this is like hard to do. Uh- like I can't really wrap my head around doing this combo. I'm messing up my combo a lot. Like I know the end board is supposed to look like this, but I can't really uh, just achieve it. Is that what you're saying a skillful deck is? Because that's not where I think tear element skill lies in. I guess I probably should define exactly. Yeah, what, that's what I'm saying. What, like, what are we skill, talking about? I, I don't. I don't know if I have an exact definition of skill, but it it is it's being presented in the community that Ishizu tear element is one of the most skillful decks in like the history of this game. It and is. I just don't believe it is. It really is. And and also hold like, on, as I said before. Mm-hmm. I believe that whatever you think the skill is, if we were just to put a number on it, one through ten, you have to discount it because of the RNG element. You just have to. Like, I've, if if you're not willing to do that, then I, I that's okay. Non-starter. So then you can put it from a ten to like an eight. Like, I don't know, man. Like, then is it th- then is an eight one hard. of the most skillful decks ever? Because I feel like it's not. Yeah, I think it really is. I think it's I don't skilled know, like, only in the mirror. What I consider like the most well, skillful deck. I would say like maybe like. Synchro fusion is like something stupid like that, like a crazy hard twenty minute looping a bunch of stupid cards. Like His- I consider that really hard, but like is that deck good or like well, was that well, deck hold on, hold on, hold on, competitive? No, no, no. no, Jim, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't. Uh, hold on, I, I think I can give you a, a decent measure of skill. Skill, skill would not be like memory repetition and knowing exactly like how to do a combo because you, you like I wouldn't, I wouldn't want skill to be determined under like non-ideal situation. Like you're not just that's why all this the shitty synchro decks like never doing it. You're not always just gonna go first. Like how do you play into a board? How do you play when you get interrupted? Like th- those are all elements of skill that are not taken into consideration with like oh well how do I just combo with DDD? You know what I mean? Like you, you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, shut up. Hold on. I'm I'm reading the chat right now. Um, it's skilled only in the mirror. See, that was that was somewhat of an argument right up until Jabril said that the better player in the mirror match wins. On, like, on, it, it's a coin flip. Because then I feel like that just completely goes out of the window. No, no, I said I misspoke. That's mm. that, that's not true. I said if you have, I have you on. I have you quoted him by that. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I know. Word. That's what I said. I misspoke. That wasn't. I didn't mean that. I misunderstood the question. I'm saying if they both draw equally as well like you have a good going first hand i have a good going second hand uh-huh. i think that the better player should win a lot of the time more 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 than likely the better players should win right That's yes the unless they mill unless and i don't know if this discount my argument but unless like something crazy happens with their mills, S- say it, then, Jim. Yes. Say, oh, see, see, that's my point. That's my. So hold on. But that just, doesn't happen that listen, much. No, like, no, really no. Doesn't. Stop, stop, it stop. Really my turn. No, much. no. I'm going in. You just murdered your entire argument. How? You said, listen, listen. You just said the better player should generally win in that game. Both players open yes. optimally. Unless someone mills crazy, then what do you mean? The, it's a deck that mills cards. Of course, there's going to be some aspect of milling in so the then, deck. So then, it's not really that skillful, then. Because I, because hold on, listen, listen, listen. Because I can enter, I can enter this this variable that I have absolutely no control over, other than deck building and a coin flip, right? Winning a die roll, and then I can completely change the outcome. 
That's the whole point. It's not. That's what I'm saying. It's not Dyro because it's not like oh they. Well, no, no, no. I, if they go first. When, when I said Dyro, I just meant like I. The Dyro is again something that like it's not in either one of our control, but I get to go first, which is just it's it's advantageous in the tier mirror match to go first, correct? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's well, advantageous, okay. Okay. advantageous in Yugi on general to go first. Pot of desire is like RNG strategy. Too. Divine, shut up. Pot of desire, but Pot of desires is not like. I don't, know. I, I don't understand why you're trying to take away RNG from a card game. Like every deck has RNG. I don't like. No, 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 no. Every on. deck has no, no, no. RNG. Jip, 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 Jip. There's, there's, there's levels to this. RNG, RNG. Yeah, every I know deck. What you're saying. Yeah, every but... deck has RNG. You can open bad with every deck, right? Every deck has a certain level of like, are you gonna hit your starters, extender, blah, blah, blah. But the difference is RNG. With tier is like it's built into the mechanics of the day. It's, it's like completely it's different. Built into the mechanics, but the yeah. reason why it, I, it's, it's not it's built the into the mechanics of because Eldritch. listen, listen, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Uh -huh. Where other decks, most of the RNG, and this is my own personal thing. Mm -hmm. I feel like tier, like other decks, where most of the RNG relies on how you draw. Yeah. Tier kind of eliminates that because most hands are good. And a lot the RNG that would be in like how you draw is in your mills, and it's less. It's like less than drawing well because like certain decks like you have to like draw well. Like they have a lot of like garnets in their deck cards that you are suboptimal to draw. Tier doesn't really have that. All the cards are good, but then I, it's I, like okay, your mills. But then well, even in the mill, like there's certain guarantees. Like, yeah, but I, I mean, and, it is a tier Rhino. zero deck. Like I would, I mean, I again. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll equate it to like something like Sky Striker at full power. There's there's like no brick hand when you're talking about Sky Striker. Whenever it's it was its absolute peak with three, like it's you're just not gonna brick. You know what I mean? Unless you have Afterburner, uh, the, the the back row pop card. Like I, I can't even build a scenario where you just have an unplayable five card hand in Sky Striker. But with Fla what Flash just said basically is like my point. You account for luck twice instead of once. Like, in most Yu-Gi-Oh decks, you're just... Because it's not impossible for tier to, like, brick, right? So that... When you're saying, oh, well, uh, you have to... Very low percent. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I agree. But it's like, that, that. that's kind of a central thing. It's like, you're not accounting for luck once, as in just your opening five cards. You're, ca you're accounting for it twice. You're opening five cards plus what you mill. And even if we've established, like, oh, the mill's gonna go crazy because you know, 65% or two-thirds of the, the mills are going to be good, okay. Um, you know, plus other cards that yeah. can mill eight and whatever, but it's just, it's just like... I understand can't that. can't remove that, Jim, because it's, it's part like, of the okay, deck. Okay, we can remove that, but Ow. What, what I'm telling you is this. You're not accounting for the hand. <laughs> like, the hands play a big part in Terra Element, the hands being so good, because, like, there are guarantees. Like, depending on what you draw, there are guarantees in your combos. That's what I'm saying. But they're hold You're on, not no. taking that into accountability. But there, but there's no guarantee to get any card though. That's impossible, right? So like when you when you is say there, there are guarantees, like I, I don't. What is the only? Hold on. I think the only thing we agreed on is that a guarantee is Merly, right? Like pretty much any five card hand will get Merly into the graveyard to trigger. I, I'll give you that. Yes. Like you, you all, you should always get the because you can make Merly with nine or you can trigger her with non engine cards and it's pretty much it, unless you have talents 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 you know fucking bestial bestial like th these hands that are impossible to draw basically you know what yeah. i mean any pretty much any combination of five cards random cards uh should be able to get merly into the graveyard i give you that um yeah. i will say for 2022 slash 2023 Yu-Gi-Oh, um it's pretty skilled considering the state of the game um a deck that had most of its cards stay in the same in six months means points to interaction is not going to be that difficult. I, I, I'm, I'm taken aback, by the way, that th what you said of I'm on like most tier players aren't good and like they're still not good at this. I mean, the deck's been out a pretty long I mean, time. The deck is really the deck is hard. I, I'm not going to lie because it's the interaction in the mirror. Like you can like feel I don't know. Like I, I, I can see a tier player feeling good about themselves like beating up on like flunder and sprite players like oh i just sharoned into an agito and they can't and it's chain block so i'm just milling five cards for free and it's like <coughs> oh i'm just beating up on people but like i don't i i think like in the mirror like playing against a better tier player mm 
mm-hmm. like which I think is good practice to just play against a better tier player. Like yeah. the the mirror is pretty skillful and it's like hard. Like you get punished a lot in the mirror for your mistakes. Like even me, like I can go back on a match that I lost or even that I won and be like, oh, I could have done this better. <laughs> And it would have, like, ignoring the random mills, I could have guaranteed this. Jibro, will you be playing? Yeah. Will you go back to this format in three years? When I go back to this format in three years? Will, will you? Will you go back in, in like. three years, but maybe, like, longer than that. That's, like, too short. Uh... I think Tier Mirrors. I would play Tier Mirrors. I, I think this deck is fun. I huh? think Tier Mirrors are fun. Like, well, 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 maybe, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Uh, how long ago was Toss Format? Because I. Toss the people's... Format? Yeah, Pete. That's like four years ago. Okay, okay. Four and a half, three. Because people, people speak. I don't play toss. I hate toss. Yeah, but you're, you're, yeah, yeah. But generally, people speak. Because I asked that question. I said, I said, no one's going to, no one's going to come back to this format and be like, ah, let's play some tier mirrors. Like, no one's going to do that. Bro, Um, people, people people speak only about about toss format. But I never see. I, I swear to God, I've never seen no one sit down and be like, yo, let's play toss, bro. No one. People do that all the time. That's cap, bro. Cap G. That's cap. No, Chad, am I hold that, on? Bro. Chad, am I lying? Am I? Do people? Do people not like? Yo, let's play orchids. I, I mean, I am not personally the yeah, biggest bro, let's fan play of danger it. Danger thunder but, mirrors, bro. Let's play some danger. Thunder I don't. Th- mirrors, I don't think bro. the mirror. I don't know. I don't know if people want to play the mirrors, but because you had four powerhouse decks and they were all so different. Uh, Look at the maybe chat, orchids bro. and salamangrade are somewhat similar, but yeah, bro. Like they're they're so. Let's play some sky, people do that. Nine sky striker mirrors with double or nothing, bro. I've never like, seen like, it. He's play tapping. That. People fucking do it all. Yeah, I, I, I see. I see people speak glowingly about toss format and like, yo, you want to play sky striker versus Salaman? Great, cool. You want to play okay. sky striker versus uh, thunder or thunder versus or like, yeah, people do do that, Jib. It's cringe now. So it's cringe now. Toss got solved. Uh, the problem when it comes to trying to make mills and draws equal in a deck like tier is that um not only do we have to say they have the same power of hand but each mill each mill both players uh have also have have to also have the same power level so while one mill and one hand will be consi- will be consistently the same afterwards luck starts pl- starts to play a much larger part I, so like, I just I, I agree with that. That's true because you could mill differently between the two players, but I feel like that. Then I think that's it's the a point. control factor to that. There is a control factor. What's the to control that factor? Don't mill. I think Bishels Bishels are the control factors to that. I think that's why those cards are. That seems so like good. Part, that seems like a really shitty control factor because that I that's, don't think so on the mirror. No, it's not. No, that that that's what. Hold on. If Big Pimpin is thinking what I'm thinking, that sounds RNG because it's like, well, that's what well, I'm saying. Hold on, Jip, Jip. Let me yeah. let me hear it. it. It's like, well, then what if you don't have a best deal? Lose? No, you have to have like a different defensive card. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you go second, you have to open a non-engine, and everyone's non-engine is just all bishops and like imperm and like Nibiru. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. So like, if you go second and draw no non-engine, then of course you could be like, oh, okay, my opponent is just milling. And then they're probably, depending on the type of player that they are, they're going to either mill me or they don't mill me. They're just going to interact and play solitaire with themselves and they're just going to build the board. That's like, that's every format. That's not just tier zero formats. That's most formats when the deck goes first. A combo deck. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that, um, Jib. I'm just saying, (sighs) chat, let me, let me ask you guys a question. Did, did Jibril sway you? I'm gonna. I'm gonna be honest. I I do not believe that Jibril swayed me. He sway. He swayed me on the fact that the tier element mirror match is highly interactive. Well, it didn't sway me. He he de- he proved that like it's it's highly interactive. Don't get me wrong. And I I don't even think he swayed me on under normal circumstances. The best player wins because he then said like if the other person mills crazy, it's raps and it's just like. That's, and that's complete... just a factor that can happen. Yeah, like, that's whatever. but that's a problem though. That's just that's like just RNG. And again, that's that's not that's not RNG of well, it was a mirror match and my opponent opened floodgate and I didn't, you know. Like that's that's RNG of I'm saying what's the difference into... between that and then playing against mm-hmm. a different deck and being like, okay, I didn't open enough hand traps in order to stop their play. What is the difference? 
Uh, the the difference is like that that can kind of happen with like that 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 can happen with like any deck. I mean, if you don't open enough hand traps, you can just like lose to to any deck. But the 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 problem is, Jib, you're you're again we're we're talking about two elements of luck instead of one. Um, Jib threw the argument when he said that. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, he did. How is that throwing the argument? Because, because I'm saying that there is a lot of control factors. Like you're. Yeah, putting but the, a lot of emphasis on the uh -huh. randomness of the deck. That is what the deck, the deck is, Jim. Then the deck would not be that good. <laughs> Jim, you're saying that I'm emphasizing too much of the randomness of the deck. That's literally what the deck is. Havness Mills it's 3. Not. Hold on. Every single card is randomness except, like, well, not every card. Don't, don't be literal. But, like, Havness mm -hmm. is randomness. Uh, yeah. Merle is randomness. Sure. What's the other one? Sharon is randomness. Scream mm -hmm. is randomness. Um, I'm not again. Okay. I'm not gonna count okay, the new okay. ones. Uh, listen, in the, in listen, the mill fives, that's five cards. The, the, okay, the, okay, okay. Listen, yeah, they're, they're randomness. I said it like this. Mm -hmm. Every if I said it like this, yeah, the cards that you're gonna mill are are pretty much for the most part. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't. I can, I'm not doing the math right now. I, I I think I can do the math. It's gonna take me a sec. But for the most part, every card that you're gonna mill is good. Then it's not RNG in my opinion, because all the cards are good. It's we, not like in BA where, like, you're hoping to mill Graf, Seer, or Skarm, and the rest of your cards are trap cards and hand traps. That's not true. Tier Elements, it's all gas. And then Bistules for the mirror. I don't... I I can't completely agree with that, Jip, because we, we did already run the numbers. The numbers are what they are. You know what I mean? Like, if you, you, can't, you can't just say, oh, if I mill a Magnum, it's gas. Like, no, it's not. If you mill a Magnumud or you mill the field spell, instant fusion. You didn't you didn't do the math correctly because you didn't even put into account we the did. number of cards that are being milled at a time. No, no, no. That that's that that's irrelevant. We're we're, we're just looking. Yeah, no, that's very relevant. No, no, it's not, Jib, because the, the one of the cards can be dead, but then the other two can be alive. And yeah, powerful cards. The, the, it doesn't matter how many cards you mill. The number of good cards to mill is not going to change. <laughs> The number of good cards in the middle is like it's the same, you know what I mean? And I actually like I don't I actually don't even know if this math is perfect because Yu-Gi-Oh has hard one like Yu-Gi-Oh has once per turn. So like if you mill two Sharons, that they're not good to mill. Only one Sharon is good to mill. Like you feel me? I so, mean like, I understand that, but that's what I'm saying. That's like hey bear, go go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. That's some of the nuance of the deck because like say for instance you mill two Sharons, mm -hmm. that technically is better than milling just one Sharon and two blanks. Because now I don't have to use a card from my field. I can just use two from the grave. So that's what I'm saying. It's like layers to it. It's not just it's not just as simple as see what you mill and then depending on what you mill, okay, I'm just gonna move forward. Because like that type of stuff comes into account. That's that's you have to put all of that into account. That's and I don't think you're doing that. That's compelling but not convincing. Okay, okay. I mean it's true. It is what it is. That's what the deck is doing what it's doing. Because all that stuff comes into account. Hold on for a second. Give me a ball to in the chat if we all learn something tonight, Twitch chat. We all learn something tonight. Uh, thank you, Jim. This was this was actually surprise. This was surprisingly fun to be to be honest. I, I don't I don't know I don't know if you guys hated it, but I, I have to be honest. As someone who doesn't want to watch like DB, this was this was much more fun than I than I expected. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. I was I was completely against doing this call, but it was actually very fun. Nerds debates. Uh, nerd debates can be fun. Thank you, Jim. You're welcome. Have a good. Oh, I'm, I'm, Jib. I'm sorry. I did not mean to hang up on you. <laughs> I'm, what's it called? <laughs> Press one if that's what's if that's a that's a preview of Card Clash chat. That's exactly how Card Clash would have ended up. You know what I mean? That's why that's why we never did Card Clash chat because that's how it would have ended up. By the way, I'm still using this clip. Um, again, Jibs, Jibs. You know what? This this is good. This is great chat. This is actually a good thing. I don't I don't I don't like I don't like just um being in an echo chamber, and if people disagree with me, it's perfectly fine. I'm not saying that I'm the, the be-all, uh, know-it-all, and I, I I guess I would probably want to reach out to some other big players and see if they'll they'll talk to me, because I didn't know that Jesse Cotton said, hey, I, I always mill, because I'm just going to beat you, you know what I mean, because I'm just better. Um, want to watch my, no, we can watch it right now, we can actually, what's it called, agree to disagree, well, no, what, what Jib said, like he made he made valuable points, and I'll take those into consideration, and I'll use I can use him as a source in the video. He has multiple tops, and importantly, like he, he topped an event with tier elements. So like, yeah, yeah. Um, 
I love an echo chamber, big pimp W, Reddit is an echo. Yeah, but I don't, I don't use Reddit for any of my arguments. It's just like if I'm going to make my arguments and the, the point of the video chat is not to prove that like tier is bad or it's, it's not skillful. The point of the video is for me to prove the argument that people just hate this. Like people hate this. This deck's existence chat is hated. And I feel like if you're clinging to, well, the mirror match is super fun ish. Like, I don't, I don't know if that's enough to disprove what I'm saying, chat. That that's that's what that's what that's my thing. It's like I don't I don't know if that's enough for you to disprove that. You know what I mean? Especially if you're you're if I if I say, well, I want to play other decks and your argument to that is, well just don't. You know what I mean? Um Rhino ulti kind of screwed it. Um and so okay, you're talking about something else. Hey Dark Emperor, go ahead and link your video in the chat. We can watch it now. Just to have something else to um They bribed me to play flu at okay, okay. I thought when I saw bribe in the title, I'm like, Triff, please do not do not get yourself in trouble again. You should never say that you bribed someone in Yu-Gi-Oh chat. That's don't get yourself in trouble. Okay. Give me one second, I'm just This was also weird. I saw this as a thumbnail chat, and I thought someone had a baby. I don't know if you guys saw this. I spent even more money. Yeah, I I thought it, I was like, dude, did someone have a baby? This baby looked kind of black, or probably like Latino or something. I was like, oh. It's a meme. Oh, it's a meme? Okay, I, I didn't. I thought someone, I thought a YouTuber had a baby. You know what I mean? I, I just see this pop up in my feed, and I'm like, oh, congratulations to whoever it is. Can we just say it's the most skilled of all the RNG decks and leave it at that? Yeah, I mean, if you're asking me, is it more skilled the only RNG decks for the most part, like competitively, are probably Light Sworn, Ad Emancipator. Um, if I'm missing any other chat, uh, let me know. I'm pretty sure that those are like those are like the main big guns. It's like Light Sworn and Ad Emancipator. If you're asking me, is it more skilled? Yeah, definitely, 100%. Um, but that's still not like that's still not the crux. You know what I mean? Because everyone is. Remember Big Pippin when you said that women just squirt the Beyonce album, whatever, whatever she just drops, they just squirt. I feel like people are just doing that to tear. Just, oh my God, a nil eight. He's so skillful. Uh, oh, Burning Abyss. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'll agree with Burning Abyss because because of Dante. Because Dante was so integral to whatever your like opening play was. Burning Abyss didn't. I mean, if you don't make Dante, like, what are you even doing? And you're just hoping like, oh, I need to hit a Seer, I need to hit a Graph, I need to hit a Skarm at the very least to just get some more engine, et cetera, et cetera. 